Well, it, it's a hybrid storm. A superstorm is another way to call it, because this is not just a hurricane. Hurricane Sandy is part of it. It's probably the most noticeable part. But th this is going is a collection of three s storm systems. It's Hurricane Sandy, which is coming up from the Caribbean, and then along from the Pacific, and now it's entered into California and on the West Coast, is a, a, a sort of a normal winter storm front. And as it gets over the Great Lakes in a day or so, it will combine with an Arctic blast of cold air. So that those two combine, and then they reach to the East Coast, where you bring in Sandy, and so you have three different types of storm systems to coming together in this unusual hybrid. Um, so, th so it's not really a tropical storm or a hurricane like Sandy. It's not a winter storm like what was out west. It is a, a collection of things. So oftentimes meteorologists find it easier to give it a name. And this one, for the last couple of days, people have been trying to come up with a name. And this morning, Noah... Uh, at their forecast center in College Park where they watch this, they started calling it Frankenstorm. And they're calling it Frankenstorm because it's a synthesis of a couple different things put together, just like Frankenstein. And of course, it's coming right before Halloween, and it's going to last through Halloween and past Halloween. We're talking, starting to feel the first effects on the East Coast sometime Sunday morning. And the Mid-Atlantic, here in Washington where we are, will finally be rid of it the day after Halloween, and in the Northeast, they'll be rid of it a day later, November 2nd. The meteorologist I talked to said there's a chance that given the uh, snow issues, given leaves on the trees, that there will be a lot of power outages. And the biggest effect on election that might be out there is there might still be on election day some places without power. And how that affects elections, who knows, and depends on where it is. They're looking at the, the, the focus of the mayhem of this storm looks to be in the New Jersey, New York area, New York Harbor. And so, but everywhere from Maine to Florida and as far west as Ohio will be feeling the effects. You'll see they're going to see snow on the southwest, and that's, you know, that'll be causing a problem 